Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending October 30th, 2021. Um, let us just get into it. Um, it is another very light week in the world of anime news. Got to admit, uh, with the main event once again being the upcoming live action Cowboy Bebop adaptation, this week the show dropped its... F- oh. Um, well, thankfully, uh, this week the show dropped its first official full trailer, and if you somehow haven't watched it yet, this is your sign to go do so as soon as the stream ends. Uh, and, like, I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not joking there. Like, this is, this is worth seeing to see how they did this. Um, Netflix held a special uh, trailer live stream event featuring a video message from Mustafa Shakir, who plays Jet Black, and a live q session, excuse me, <clears throat> with John Cho and Daniela Pineda, who are, of course, Spike and Faye. Uh, the stream also included a special code for the first 5,000 people who signed up, giving access to an early stream of the show's first two episodes, which is a very smart idea. That chance is passed by now, but you can still rewatch the stream through the news story link below in the description if you'd like to catch the replay. It also featured an exclusive clip of a certain Corgi's first introduction scene, as well as the trailer itself. Um, Netflix also revealed a new key image of the series along with several stills featuring the main cast and Vicious and a few other side characters. Golf fans, this is the news week for you. Not one, but two original golf-themed anime series have been announced this week. Um, I'm at least a lot better than Dando. Um, first up is Birdie Wing Golf Girl Story, a new TV anime from Bandai Namco Pictures. The story centers on two young men golfers who have completely different backgrounds and completely different play styles, but together will shake the world of golf. But the question is, of course it is, will they go to nationals? It totally makes sense, you know. 26 episodes, 18 holes of golf, right? You can very easily just do a different golf uh, hole area. Yeah, there we go. Um, I was going to say a different hole area episode. That's like a very different kind of a show. Uh, anime... St- <laughs> Um, anime studio Yostar Pictures also announced their original golf anime this week. It's titled Sky Blue Utility, uh, and will also feature a cast of cute girls doing golf, um, as if that's a surprise. Oh boy. Um, that also was not the only new anime announced this week from Yostar Pictures. The studio is also making an animated television series based on the Arknights smartphone game. Hugely, hugely successful. Uh, the series' first season is titled Prelude to Dawn, is already in production. Uh, it is a tactical tower defense game set in a dystopian future populated by a terrible disease and, of course, cute girls with anime ears who must fight it. Um, I've actually played some of this game, um, downloaded it and tried it a couple of weeks ago, and um, couldn't get into the like the actual gameplay. Um, the kind of the, the tower defense thing just kind of did, wasn't interesting to me. But uh, yeah, gorgeous character designs, um, really, really lovely um, style, and a, a very sort of goody dystopian aesthetic. Uh, which is um, a little unusual, sort of stylistically. So it'll be interesting to see how how much they can get, get that across in the in the visuals of the anime. The official Arc Knights subreddit um, uh, currently has um, 145,000 people uh, viewing and 1,600 um, people posting. So it's pretty. It's doing pretty well. Um, let's see here. Uh, moving on. Cloverworks announced a new original TV anime this week titled uh, Tokyo 24th Ward, set to debut in January. The show takes place on an artificial floating island in Tokyo Bay, the titular 24th Ward, and follows three childhood friends whose lives change drastically after a certain incident called the Third Impact. No, kidding. Um, a certain incident, uh, forcing them to protect the future of their island. So I'm betting Mecca are involved. Um, the Shine Post light novel from writer Rakuda and illustrator Buriki, uh, known for their previous light novel Orisuki, is inserting its own or inspiring its own multimedia idol project. Set to include a game, manga, concerts, and an anime. The anime adaptation is set to premiere sometime next summer because there's not enough idol shows. Uh, Nagano's Chikawa Twitter manga has announced exactly an anime adaptation coming next year. The manga, fo- manga follows the happy, sad, and sometimes stressful moments in the daily life of Chikawa, quote, some sort of small cute creature, end quote. Um, the new Fruits Basket anime is getting a compilation film titled Fruits Basket Prelude that will include the Kyoko and Katsuya's story anime, the backstory of Toru's parents, 
as well as new scenes depicting events from after the TV anime's story. So that's uh, exciting. The film will open in Japan on February 18th with a Blu-ray release on the same day. Yeah. Um, because COVID. Um, Macross fans in the U.S. Mark down December 14th in your calendars. The Macross Plus movie edition film is coming to theaters with English subtitles for one day only. The movie edition is the film version of the four-volume Macross Plus series from 1994, uh, which is set three de uh, decades after Space War I from the first Macross series. Tickets will go on sale for the screening on November 12th. And by the way, if you've seen the OVA, the movie includes new footage. Um, there is stuff in there that is not in the OVA, um, some that is quite graphic, actually. Um, but if you're interested, that's the thing. The, the clip of the Macross movie edition, here we go. I don't know if I want to watch that. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's graphic, I'll put it that way. Um, uh, for those of you who've seen Macross Plus, um, how, how to do this without spoilers. Um, there's a scene in the movie, or the scene in the, in the story, where one character is pushing his mecha to its limits um, in, in a way that is very injurious. Um, and in the OVA, you just, you know, you know that's happening to him, and then you see kind of, you know, the, 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 the end of that from afar. Uh, in this, we're still inside the cockpit while it's happening. Yeah. Right up close and personal to some of the, yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of, uh, which, in fairness, right, right. Yeah, and, and again, in, in fairness, in original Macross, like you see Ben, you know, you see, you certainly see that happening in in the original series, and people getting sort of splatted. Um, but this, this is kind of like an, uh, uh, I didn't, uh, uh. so again, that there could be a bunch of other awesome stuff in there, but that was one of those things where like, uh, who knows? Um, but that's all the news for this week. Really, literally, that's all the news we could find this week. <laughs>